Hi, my name is Bill McPhee. I'm the CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partner in mental wellness. Today I have a question from uh, Evie. And Evie says, when I have symptoms, I call my warning signs. I sometimes don't know what to do. And before I know it, I'm delusional. I try to tell someone, but they are so sudden. I remember pacing was a warning sign, but I don't do that anymore. I hear things and get paranoid and delusional very fast, and it's completely out of the blue. How do you prevent a relapse or psychosis, or have you got any tips? Thank you. Well, Evie, I want to tell you that, first of all, I want to commend you for actually recognizing when you are having symptoms. Because a lot of times people with this, with mental illness, we don't recognize our symptoms or in our delusions. We, we don't know that we're, we're ill. So the fact that you're recognizing delusions is, is, is great and is, uh, half the battle into fighting them. The other thing is that, um, what I want to let you know at is that you mentioned that they come out of the blue or you don't know why, uh, they're, they're, they're there, why they're coming. And I'd like to encourage you to Try to start a journal. Whenever these things happen to you, I'd like you to take a, a, a journal or a, bowl, a, a notebook or a, through your computer, whatever, and start making notes about your surroundings, about the stimuli that is around you, about what is happening around, the maybe uh, stressors that you may be going through at the time. I, I want you to really focus on, on the the stimuli and, and the environment around you. The other thing is that it sounds like anxiety too, and that, that's how anxiety happens. When anxiety happens, it's like a panic attack or we become very flustered and we become very not knowing what to do and agitated in that. And those are something that you maybe have in maybe, maybe a combination with your, with your delusions and that is, is anxiety. One of the things that uh, is very helpful as well, as well is to try to keep yourself occupied. I know so many times that that with mental illness, people just do not have a structure during their day or a pattern of what to do. I can remember uh, my mom being ill for very uh, for a long time, and really she didn't have anything to do she would she wouldn't read she wasn't interested in any hobbies or or anything like that and that was half of her problem as well when i was ill when i was in the psych wards i can remember uh, a worker there paul and paul told me he said bill if you don't find something to do if you don't find something to occupy your time you're going to end up right back here in the hospital and at that time, that's true. I, I did. Without things to do, we we just focus on ourselves and we focus on our problems, and we don't and we get admitted right back through anxiety or through panic attacks or through hallucinations and our delusions coming back. So once again, um, keep a journal. It's great that you know about your. Uh, uh, you can recognize when you have your symptoms coming back. But again, try to keep a journal around the stimuli that your environment and also try to find something of interest to preoccupy your time. Thank you and uh, thank you for tuning, tuning into this daily video blog. And if you have a question for me, just email me at bmcfee at magpiemags.com. Thank you and have a great day.